My name is Matt Humphreys. I'm 21 years old and I release music under the project name The Moss Farm. I'm Beth, but I go by the alias Lazy Girl when I make music. I've always, music's always been such a significant part of my life. Um, I wasn't really brought up in a particularly musical household, but I started playing the guitar from like eight-ish. Um, and it's kind of just, I've just always had a thought in the forefront of my mind that it's what I want to do. Um, so yeah, I suppose music for me was a way of, of outletting uh my emotions from a young age it's it's just always been a, a way of expressing i suppose um and i think that still kind of remains true today so i've been into music from a young age like my dad's really into music and my mum as well and my dad like taught me how to play guitar i had piano and singing lessons growing up um and i always kind of was wanted to perform when I was younger. Like I'd put on like shows for my family and stuff when I was like eight. Um, female perspective, I was always really into like Blondie and I really liked people like Katie Tunstall as well. Um, and I still feel like I kind of base a lot of my music on those kind of influential female artists or like when I was first started making music and getting into music those were definitely the artists that I looked up to, yeah. I think there are so many ways that artists these days can produce and distribute their music. Um, and so I think, it, you know, digital platforms and social media uh, are very much paramount to uh, creating a channel from musician to listeners um, and everything in between, so. It's definitely had a, a positive influence, I would say. Um, I, I get loads of people asking me how I managed to get the streams that I do. And it's, I don't have a manager or a label or anything. Like I do everything myself. I think for, for me, I, I just get such a joy out of producing music in the first place. And I would hope that, you know, in some way, whatever I release can help somebody. I talk a lot in my music about uh, mental health, so I, I would hope that um, there's a lot of positive things that can come out of it in the sense that, you know, it, it might help people to not feel as alone going through whatever they're going through. Um, so for me, I, I, I think predominantly I would just want to continue doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, if it reaches more people than it currently is, that's great. If it doesn't, then, you know, if, if, if my music can can be influential on helping one person then that's the most amazing thing for me so but there are so, there are so many music learning apps and applications and stuff that that people can can now use versus 50 years ago when you'd have to go and buy a Beatles songbook or something like that and learn chord charts and things like that um I'm not sure whether it's necessarily easier because I think in order to perfect a craft in any field you have to be willing to put the time and effort in um but I think there are many more options and ways that you can go about learning. In a studio, like studio, I feel like is a much more restricted space, even though it's ironic because a bedroom should surely be a more restricted space. But I just find that it's, it's what makes me comfortable. Gigs are kind of the main way to kind of get an actual income and a career out of being a musician. So, for there not to be any gigs, and obviously it's not safe to bring them back anytime soon, um, really, really has been such a problem and an issue for artists. I think, uh, you know, live music is such an amazing way to experience music and find new artists and stuff. And there's, you know, with streaming culture and stuff, that's becoming a very prominent way for people to discover new artists, which is great. Um, but I think one of the best ways of interacting with music and really emotionally connecting as it is by experiencing it in the moment. Again, I know that sounds quite pretentious, but um, through years of experience playing music and going to gigs and hearing music, I think I would hope that in the future, live music is not de-emphasized in favor of placing an increasing emphasis on streaming and just hearing things through digital services and stuff. Um, 
but I, I think that I'll always remember kind of the awful first lockdown to also be such a great time for creating because you actually had the time and the opportunity to do it. At the core of it, becoming a musician should be a personal desire and it should be something that you want to do as a means of fulfilling yourself um, and anything else on top of that is just a massive bonus, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so I just learned how to produce with the help of some great artists and producers. And then, yeah, the rest is history, as they say. Thank you. Thanks for listening in the first place. That means means the world. <laughs>